What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and this is not the way I wanted to kick off the new year on the Joe Talks Wrestling channel. Breaking news in the world of WWE. Firstly, confirmed news, Stephanie McMahon has stepped down as CEO and has resigned from the company. She is no longer part of the WWE. Now on to the news that is not confirmed but may as well be. WWE has reportedly sold to the Saudi Arabia Investments Fund and Vince McMahon is once again the chairman of the board. Now he hasn't taken control of the company yet. Nick Khan's still up there as CEO, Triple H still up there as head of creative, but I can only imagine it's going to be a matter of time until them two are out the door as well. Vince is once again fully in control. If the reports are true and it's being reported by all of the reliable online wrestling insider news sources, so I'm coming at you saying that it's not 100% confirmed, but we all know, come on, sure it is. And uh, if, if the rumours are true, the company is uh, going private for the first time. Uh, I think either in a long time, a very long time, or for the first time ever. Which means that if Vince is in charge, he's not really going to have anyone to answer to. Uh, making the WWE his own little playground where he can book whoever he wants, do whatever he wants. It's entirely up to him. Uh, huge ramifications from this potentially if it is true um, you know you've, you've got to think about how many more shows are going to be in Saudi Arabia per year how it affects the WWE locker room in particular guys like Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, John Cena people that don't want to go to Saudi Arabia have said no to going to Saudi Arabia I mean Sami Zayn uh, will obviously of Syrian descent um, has been fighting against going to Saudi Arabia since they first went out there. You've got to think if a Saudi Arabian uh, government or company or whatever the investment fund is, I don't really know, if they're heading the company, they're not going to be wanting people like Sami working for them, are they? So is Sami Zayn going to be released? You know, you just, we have no idea what's going to happen here, especially don't even get me started on the women's wrestling. Uh, obviously the Saudis, you know, they, they don't care too much for women's wrestling. And um, it seems that Vince doesn't too much either, to be honest with you. So what's going to happen with the uh, with the ladies? I, I don't know. I honestly don't know, guys. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, I don't know if I'll make a follow-up. I'm very on and off with content at the moment because I am very, very busy. I want to try and get some Rumble content up, but we'll just have to see how things go. Uh, but yeah, if there is a big follow-up, I will try to get on it. But if not, uh, uh, every wrestling YouTuber is reporting on this. So be sure to uh, stay tuned with it. But, you know, very, very dark days. It's not good. Everyone I've spoken to has said it's not good. Depending on how things go, you know, this may be the last road to WrestleMania we ride down. Because I can't see, I can't see it going good in the next few years. I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong and that it all gets turned around. You know, big, exciting things to come this year. We've got money in the bank in the UK in July. The Royal Rumble is only a matter of weeks away. Not to mention WrestleMania goes Hollywood. But this has just put a downer on my mood, especially. You know, I've only just started getting back into watching wrestling. And immediately now, I just feel like I, I shouldn't even be bothering. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.